The late President Bush has deep Connecticut roots. He was born in Massachusetts, spent most of his formative years in our state, though. He grew up in Greenwich, went to Yale, and fathered a future president in New Haven. Channel 3's Dennis House has more. George Herbert Walker Bush moved to this house on Grove Lane in Greenwich shortly after he was born. He was one of five children born to Dorothy and Prescott Bush, a wealthy businessman who later was elected U.S. Senator from Connecticut. I shall always be grateful to the people of Connecticut for having given me the great privilege of representing them in the Senate of the United States. Their lifestyle protected them from the Great Depression. George Bush went by limousine to Greenwich Country Day School. After becoming a hero in World War II, he returned to Connecticut to attend Yale University, where he became a star baseball player and was remembered as an all-around good guy. When the going got tough, he was tough at the plate. He was a clutch hitter. Oh, gosh, and I can see him now. The bases were loaded. We were down two runs. He hit a triple, and he won the ball game for us. With his new bride, Barbara, Bush lived at this home on Hill House Avenue near Yale, not far from Grace New Haven Hospital, now Yale New Haven. It's there where the future president, George W. Bush, was born. The elder Bush then moved to Texas while his brother Prescott pursued politics unsuccessfully here in Connecticut. In the interest of the unity of the Republican Party, I am withdrawing from the Senate race. Decades later, George Bush came back to Connecticut again to campaign for president in 1980 and again in 1988 including a stop at Cigna in Bloomfield. And I expect everybody agrees that the deficit is the number one fiscal problem, but I hadn't yet found a man or a woman come up to me walking along here and say, hey, let's get the deficit down, please raise my taxes. And I don't expect I'm gonna have anybody before I leave this building. His last visit to Connecticut as president was in 1992 to be with his mother right before she died. The Greenwich town historian told me then the Bush family was well known in Greenwich. I don't think the people here in Greenwich today, the majority of the people have never seen her, never met her. But this is uh, 30 years ago. She was very active in town and everybody knew her. Both Bush's parents are buried in Greenwich at Putnam Cemetery.